Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm doing a bit of a drills and chills update and a bit of a mishmash of things that I've been doing. So I have finished first and foremost uh, my Halloween sign, which yep, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Uh, nice and sparkly and I like the colours. I like the fact that this has got like the pinks and purples in it rather than just your blacks and your oranges, just makes it pop that little bit. Um, I've just knotted the uh, little cord on the back there and there through the holes that was easy to do no problem at all nice long cord obviously you can shorten it if you want to but I quite like the length of that one yep that's uh, gonna go up in my house so yep that's my happy Halloween sign nicely finished took me about half an hour not really long maybe 40 minutes I think I didn't rush it, I just enjoyed sitting there and just doing a quick nice little project there and uh, you can see quite a lot of the little special drills left over so these will go into my storage, just the normal 310s and uh, as you can see plenty of gems left over there so I was never going to run out, plenty of them so that was a nice little project to do just put those ready to go back into my uh, drill storage so that's one little project i've done um you saw me do my completion review on my skull tree and as you can see now rather than the blue ribbon it came with uh, i've just added a bit of black organza ribbon which just gives it that little bit more haunted effect and all i've done um is i used the stick and i've pushed it all the way through so that the knot for it which end is it at is there look so the knot is actually oops you can see that there i've just knotted it together there and then i've just pulled it through oops into the middle so there's no knot showing it's not going to come untied and uh, yeah that will just hang up nicely so that was just some black organza I had and then I didn't have any black tassels so I've just ordered these from Amazon and I think they were £1.75 for 10 which I thought was reasonable I didn't need 10 but uh, being a crafter they will always come in handy and they're quite a nice um, thickish one just a little bit staticky at the minute they're just going their own way a little bit so we want two tassels and I've got eight left for another project so I'll pop those into my crafting stash okay and then these if you just look I don't know if you'll be able to see on the bottom corner there there is just I think you can just catch it a hole in the back so then these just go through that hole I'm not sure whether my tweezers are going to be too sharp to do this, so let's have a look. Just need to catch that loop through there, or push it through, so my eyesight isn't brilliant. So it may or may not work. sure it all comes through i've got the cord a little bit tatty but not to worry we won't be seeing the cord because it will be on the back so that goes through that little hole and then just loop that tassel through there so that's one tassel fastened and on as i say they're a little bit staticky these because they've just come out of the packet so that's one on Let's see if we can get the other one on find it okay so let's just push this underneath towards the hole sorry it's not easy to do this I'll just use my tweezers to get it through just need to catch one bit sorry if you can hear some noises outside the window cleaner decided to come today. Liz decides to do some filming. The window cleaner decides to come. 
frightened me to death. I was uh, just walking out. Sorry, this is taking me a while to do. Uh, I was just walking out onto the landing. And all of a sudden, this great big red brush, which just appeared like a red thing, appeared at the window. And I absolutely jumped out of my skin. <laughs> okay, duck, so I've just pulled that through. Sorry, I didn't quite get that on camera because I was struggling a bit to see it. It's because it's black on black and it's not easy to see. So, and then that one's there. So that is now all ready to go up on my wall with my two nice black tassels on the bottom and my nice black ribbon on the top. So that's all done now, all ready for Halloween. I'm not putting them up yet, don't worry. Um, this picture, I do believe this is actually a copyrighted picture. It's one that I got as a custom. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm not going to show that one. And then finally, I have finished my Maisie Halloween. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Now then, this one was from Fan Cells. It was a custom. It's 40 by 40. I'll just put the little sign out of the way. I'll do my full review and my kitting down on this one um, in a separate video because otherwise it will take too long. I have bought the frame for it, so I'm going to show you the frame in this video. It's from eBay. Um, it's sold by Alison Kingsgate. Um, I'll put the details down below. It was recommended uh, on one of the Facebook diamond painting groups that I belong. I'm sorry, I can't remember which one it was. Um, but I find that 30 by 30 and 40 by 40 square frames are quite difficult to find, uh, particularly reasonably priced ones. I don't want, I'm not into great big ornate frames, ones with great big thick glass or anything because they are just for my diamond paintings and to be honest I'm not even bothered whether the, there is glass or perspex or whatever in them because the diamond paintings speak for themselves. I want the paintings to pop. I'm not bothered about a frame that's really big and showy off. Just as you've seen when I've done my previous uh, framings, I just like my plain frames. So you look at the picture, not the frame that it's in. Um, and I came across this one and the, for the 40 by 40 centimetre, um, I ordered two and it came out at £13.80 with the postage, which I thought was quite good. So what's that? £6. So that works out at £6.90 a frame, including postage each. So that is good. So I have the frames here. They came really well packaged in this great big box. I've got two frames now they are the ones with the little um, tabs on the back which I'm not keen on the little tabs but uh, if you've seen my previous videos I do use the cheap tweezers that you get in your kit to so flip them up now so I don't break my nails anymore we've got a little hanger there but I will probably be using command strips they are a good weight these as well so this is the two that I've got Okay, so this is a 16 by 16, which is 40 centimetre by 40 centimetre. Um, and remove plastic sheet from frame and peel protection off both sides. So, yeah, so it looks like this is going to be perspex, which is fine by me because for diamond paintings, that's all I need. Okay, so let's have a look at these frames. They're just a nice plain black frame, which is all I wanted. Um, I got the two, as I say, because I have got my custom of uh, Millie, my current little Scotty dog, that I want to um, frame. And that one is a 40 by 40 as well. They do do lots of different sizes in these, and I think for the price, they're brilliant. Uh, it's a nice, thick, just black frame. It's arrived in good condition uh, so do i'm not going to take these little things oh yes i will let's just flip these up okay great use for the cheap tweezers yay so they do come in handy <laughs> 
so they are great for just getting underneath and flipping these up okay it just seems to be the right thickness and the right strength just as I say these are my least favorite but then once I've framed this one I'm probably not going to be taking it out again and um, some of them I do uh, some of them I like to change over but uh, now I've found those ones where you just slot in that I've put the skull tree in I may not be just flipping over it may not have to take them out of frame I might just reuse that one and you can change the colour of the tassels and the ribbon on the other one to whatever picture you've got so that's all those flipped up so let's just have a look at this we've got a piece of hard board on the back I say we've got our hanger there uh, that I don't think they're the strongest hangers um so i will probably be using command strips with this but because it's perspex and not glass it does make it a little bit uh, less heavy so that's your good piece of hardboard all nicely finished no rough edges or anything so yeah impressed with that uh, this is your perspex i'm not going to take the covers off until i actually put the um picture in the frame so we've got Alison Kingsgate there, thank you for your support by choosing us. Um, in a world full of opinions, I wanted to take a moment to express my appreciation as a small growing business. Uh, we work to resolve any customer issues, so please, if you could message us directly, I'll be sure to rectify any problems. Customer care is our top priority and we'll be grateful if you could leave some positive feedback. Oh, well, Alison Kingsgate, I'm actually uh, doing a video for you so I'll let you know about that and uh, yep you've just got your little uh, reminder there to take the cover off so I think for the price and for it was quick delivery I think it was about a week that's all it took so yep so you've got your just your little plastic cover look on both sides of your perspex to take off and uh, yep that's fine I shall be doing that Okay, so these are nice frames. Oops. So that's, I've not quite got those, that's my fault. Oops. Let's just pop that back in there for now. So let's give us a quick measure. As you can see, look, that 40 by 40 diamond painting is just going to slot nicely in there and it will look great with the black. Um, yeah, as so I'll do the review on the painting um, in a separate video. Right, so the actual frame itself from end to end is 17 and 3 quarter inches, which is 45 centimetres. And we'll check it is square. So, yep, yeah, exactly the same. And it is just the inside, which is... 40 centimetres which is 16 inches so yeah it's exactly as it says it is and I will definitely be ordering more of these and um, I do believe they came in white as well I'm not sure about other colours but as I say I will leave a link so that you can check them out but yeah certainly for diamond paintings you know if you're wanting a really reasonably priced frame and you know one that does seem to be made more or less for diamond paintings it's brilliant um i'm not sure if they do some of the obscure ones i know um a lot of you do the like 120 centimeter you know long pictures and things like that they may do them i would certainly ask anyway um but yeah i think for the price i've paid they're very very good and i look forward to getting uh, Maisie put into this one and then millie will be in the other one and we'll maybe have a matching set okay well that's uh, just this little update video on drills and chills and showing you a couple of little purchases that I've got. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing these. If you've got any questions, if you leave them in the comments down below. Uh, if you press the like button, I'd be much appreciated. And if you press subscribe down in this corner down here and the little bell, you'll be notified when the next videos come up. And you'll be able to then hopefully see the review of this Fan Cells custom painting.
So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.